Um, the Ministry of Health is very pleased to be part of this historical campaign of the Mark More Than a Mother initiative that is the first of its kind in Uganda. As earlier mentioned, this has already taken place in Kenya, but in Uganda this is our very first time and we are honored to be part of this. For the first time, we shall have a campaign addressing the stigma of infertility in general and infertile women in particular. As most of us know in our culture, infertility has been tagged mainly to women, but we also know that men are a part of the cause and can be part of this whole issue of infertility. In Uganda, infertility is still a very big challenge, and we have an estimation of around 5 million people suffering from this problem. Um, of all couples attempting to have a pregnancy in any given year, we find that about 10 to 15 percent may fail to get a pregnancy and may require serious medical help. Um, we've also realized that in Uganda, this is mainly handled by the private health facilities, and these are mainly centered in the urban areas, especially in Kampala, to be specific. That means that this leaves the rural population very underserved. And we know that the majority of our people stay in the, in the, uh, in the rural areas. Um, at the Ministry of Health, we have the management of infertility included in the national policy and um, the service standards for sexual and reproductive health rights. Um, but the guidelines are yet to be integrated into the sexual and reproductive health services at all levels of care. For those of us coming from various facilities, we know that we have the policy and the guidelines, but the actual implementation of such has not been uh, actually realized. And we also know that we have very limited data on infertility and accessibility of such services in our communities. Um, where this exists, it's still expensive as already shown above. We recognize that at the national, in the country, I think we have around five recognized centers for infertility treatment. And that means we have around five specialized doctors for this. We see that this is such a still, um, it's still a very big problem. Um, demand versus the supply side. So with this opportunity and this program with the Mark Mother Modern Initiative, we hope that this can be addressed. Because we already know that um, the organizers of the campaign hope to train a few more of our specialists to ensure that at least the, um, the number of people providing such care can be broadened and therefore the skills passed on to others. That's, that makes um, a bigger population being able to access these facilities. So we know that uh, at ministry level, this partnership will surely get us there. And I'm sure that by the end of February or March, some of us could be taken for such further training and specialist care, which is a good opportunity for the ministry. We also realize that um, this campaign will also support the government to define their policies and also improve access to safe and effective fertility care. Because we know that when we train, then we have the knowledge and we can now practically do what it takes to um, cure this problem. This need for intervention to reduce stigmatization and social suffering of infertile women and also raise awareness about male infertility will be addressed. And the necessity for a team approach um, to this family building approach is very important. And that's why we have the various stakeholders here. We have our members of parliament, we have the academia, we have the healthcare providers, and we have Ministry of Health here, because we know that it's not just an issue of health, but a stakeholder and multi-sexual kind of approach, knowing that it affects both men and women, rural and urban. Um, we realize that prevention awareness is very key, and that's why Mark is here. Uh, they are going to help us kind of disseminate this message on social media, and I know that the journalists are here, and they are also going to help us to get these me messages where we probably haven't gotten them before. So prevention is really very important in this whole issue, and we know that um, at the Ministry of Health, we are taking this very seriously, and we shall continue to emphasize the need for prompt treatment of sexually transmitted infections, because these are the key causes in our community for infertility. We shall also try to manage and safe abortions, because we know this also contribute to infertility once not handled very well. And we shall also try to campaign for prevention of exposure to smoking and all these other natural pollutants in our environment. And also not forgetting male involvement, because we know that when the males are involved,
then everything will be in line. And especially in this area where I think that infertility is only related to women. So in order to achieve this objective successfully, a discussion with relevant authorities, this is why we are partly here, will be needed. And the strengthening of the infertility services will be key on our agenda. Education, regulation, community awareness, and the need to integrate them with the other existing services in our community, such as the maternal and child health clinics, the HIV prevention clinics, the family programming clinics will be very important because integration is the way to go now. Our partnership with MARC will add great value to our community and medical society through making a difference and raising awareness about infertility prevention and management. Last but not least, uh, raising public awareness about infertility in general and male infertility in specific is another very important issue and should be done with very great care. I thank each and every one of you who is here, especially our members of parliament, because they really have such a tight schedule. We know that some people have traveled from very far to be here. We appreciate your time and the support for this whole campaign. And in a special way, we want to thank Mark and Russia's team for having to bring the Minister of Health on board in this agenda. And we hope that this more than another campaign will move us strides to change the cultural shift in relation to infertility in the country. We look closely to working with each and every one of you, and we hope infertility will also be boosted up on the agenda of Ministry of Health. Thank you very much.